where did water polo start for you? Um, it started when I was about 12 or 13 years old. I had done swimming a couple of times, but I was like horrible at it. That's why I'm a goalie also. But um, yeah, my parents kind of just threw me into um, a summer camp and from there it took off. So you don't like swimming, but you play water polo. Absolutely hate it. Yeah, that's why I'm a goalie, because we don't do much swimming. I think the most swimming I'll do is like 200 meters, something like that, but yeah. And when did it develop into like a passion that you wanted to follow? Um, Swimming, well not really swimming, but being in the water has always been something that I've loved like ever since a young age. So I feel like once I figured out like I could do this and do it decently, I kind of decided like this was where I wanted to go with my life and this was where I like wanted to take it to the next level. Now, what was that recruiting process like coming from Canada all the way here to the middle of nowhere in Indiana? Yeah, um, it was kind of nice. I had two, actually four other teammates um, from the national team and like the program essentially that were already here at IU. Megan Lappin, Jackie Coley, Shea Fournier, who's like the top scorer and um, Shelby Taylor. So they kind of facilitated that path for me. Um, Barry just kind of asked around and like, they were like, yeah, Jess is coming up, like she's younger. And they basically made that connection for me. Well, they made the connection. What made you want to come here? Um, them, honestly. It was nice and like to know that there was a program that I could come and make an impact on and that um, I basically had friends here already. So I feel like that was kind of a comfort level for me. You left halfway into your career to go train for the national team. Was that something you were prepared to do when you came here? Yeah, um, Barry and I had already spoke um, before I signed my papers to come here that I wanted to do the 2016 like Olympic cycle. And at that point, we didn't really know if it was a two year or a one year centralization, but um, either way, he was fully supportive of that. So we knew when I came in that I would be gone for either a year or two. Now, what was that training process like? Um, eat, sleep, water polo, honestly, day in and day out. I didn't really have much variation in our schedule. Um, we did six to seven hours of training a day, sleep all day, sleep all night, try to get food in there somewhere. But um, yeah, it was, it was very vigorous. Um, rigorous, vigorous, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, it was something that I don't regret doing, but it was definitely very difficult. Now, when you look back at that process, what do you think are some of the biggest things you've learned from it? Um, consistency, for sure. I feel like um, before I went in and took that two-year time to like only do water polo, I was very um, up and down and like not really figuring out my groove and all that kind of stuff. So being able to only focus on water polo really helped with that. Now, yeah. Now, when you look back at it as well, there was obviously the hardship of not qualifying. What was that experience like and what did you learn from that? Um, it's hard to say or to really know what I've learned from it. I definitely know I never want to experience that ever again, like especially losing by one goal. Um, I feel like we've kind of learned that we have to qualify um, earlier on. Like we don't want to leave it to that very last qualification. And I guess for the 2016 Olympics, it wasn't really our fault because um, the way that the qualifying route is, that was our only way of qualifying. As same for the US, they also had to qualify in that very last um, chance tournament. But I think I've just learned that like every day I've had to give it my all no matter what, because maybe like one more day of training at 100% could have prevented that one goal from going in. I don't know, so that's just something that I try to think of every single day. Now, after that experience, you come back to this program and it's completely different than when you started. There's new girls here and there's even a new coach. Mm -hmm. How odd was it coming back to campus? Um, for me, it's something that I've kind of dealt with my entire life. My parents made, both my parents with their jobs, I moved around I think 13 times growing up. And when I moved to Ottawa, where I kind of have been for the past 10 years, that was the last time my parents were like, we're staying here. So like being in a new environment isn't something that's very difficult for me or like overbearing. So just coming back here, I was like, I just gotta be me, play water polo and like everything will kind of settle. Where do you think this program is now going? This year, you guys are looking to win the CWPA, of course, which is something you did back when you were a sophomore. Mm -hmm. So is that really the end goal? I think winning is always a goal for a team. It's just kind of like how bad you want it. And um, yeah, that's what it's going to come down to. If our team wants it, then we'll get it. Now, since you have that experience, is that something you harp on to the rest of the team since you're a leader that was there for the last CWA, CWPA tournament? Oh, every day. 
Um, I think everybody on the team could tell you that I'm basically, or <laughs> I'm essentially one of the people that will tell you what it's like in the water, but out of the water I have a very different personality. Um, what's said in the water stays in the water and like every day you just have to put everything in to it, like physically and mentally. And that's just something that we have to work on as a team. And I think once we get there, like there's nothing that can stop us. This past summer, you also went back to the women's national team. Yeah, second at World League Super Final, fourth at World Championships. Okay. Yeah. So second at the Super Final mm -hmm. and you took home best goalkeeper of the tournament. What kind of achievement was that for you? Um, I think it was kind of a validation for me. That was nice to finally get some recognition. Um, yeah, the last summer I got two MVG like awards for out of three FINA events. So that was exciting. I think that maybe if we had placed, things would have been differently as well. But um, it's good for our program too, because we've never gotten any sort of recognition in terms of like personnel or all-star team. Like we got two girls on the all-star team. So that was really exciting for us just to see our program moving in like or leaping in such a forward manner, in such a positive way as well. Now, along with that individual achievement over the summer, you look at your IU career, and it's probably one of the most historic in the water polo program. Third all-time in saves, third all-time in shots faced. How much do you harp upon your own individual success? Um, that's just something that I let fall into place in a sense. As long as my team, I think, my team's a huge factor in terms of my personal success. If they give me the shots that I know that I can stop, like, that's all that matters. So for me, I kind of try to direct a little bit more, like play a chess game um, here, especially just because the level is very different. So I can make a bigger impact on teaching others and directing others than I can by just like focusing on myself. So is that something you focus on a lot, just being a leader for especially the younger girls? Oh yeah, especially. I not so much a leader. I just think that I, um, in terms of like my experience, I just want to be able to give them that knowledge so that they can learn more about water polo. Is it almost like a, a lead by example kind of thing for you or? Yeah, I just, in that sense, exactly. Um, I mean, I tried to kind of whip people into shape, but I guess just doing it by myself is enough for this team. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, moving forward, of course, you've, you mentioned in the past that your biggest goal is 2020 in Tokyo. Mm -hmm. Where do you see yourself in the next five years? Uh, with water polo or yeah, everything cool. else? Um, I'm hoping I'm still playing. 2020 is like my major goal right now. Um, but after that, I don't know. We're going to see how my body takes it. I've been playing water polo. This will be my 12th year now. So, yeah, it's kind of taking a toll a little bit, getting some more injuries here and there. But um, if I can still do it, then I'll still be doing it. And what about outside of the pool? Yeah. <laughs> That's also a big question. I mean, right now I'm uh, a chemistry major and I'm kind of going towards, leaning towards like pharmacy and things like that. But um, yeah, maybe I'll be in grad school, maybe I'll be playing pro. It, it'll depend whether I'm still able to play water polo.